Well, it's a new month. And for Christmas, I didn't get what I wanted. A new home, a hot girlfriend, a reason to live. These things seem to elude me, while other people seem to have them in spades. Is it fair that Jake Paul is happy and I'm not? The answer is no. But, thank God for you guys. Let's see what we got here. It has to be from a woman. I can feel it. I get fluffy. Let me feel it. What does it smell like? Does it smell like a... No, there's no smell, so it means it's a woman not attracted to me. Merry Christmas. Oh, it's sparkly on the inside. It's got to be a woman. See, that's a dead give. Don't eat the sparkles, fluff. Oh, that is so cute. You have sparkles all over your whiskers. Merry Christmas. Hope the new year brings you a lot of good things. And tiny robots to paint. A and C. P.S. Don't forget to give Fluffy and Smokey cuddles. Well, Fluffy's receiving her cuddles currently. A and C means it's a couple. It's not a woman sending me love letters. Oh. I, I don't even know what that is. <clears throat> Oh, dude. It's an R6 uh, sock thingy that goes on your brake fluid reservoir. No, no, no. What's this? Oh, what? Blade of the Immortal. A live action version of Blade of the Immortal. What? Why would they make that live action? Oh, thing in the, let me see. Somebody had to put a message in there. The manga's pretty good, though. Hey, this isn't the right one. Uh-oh. Blade of the Immortal. Classic uh, manga. I don't know how the live action would be. I don't trust that it would be any good. But then again, at least it's made in Japan, so they'd be at least true to the source material. Uh, guess I'm going to have to get a DVD player because uh, my computer? No disk drive. This one, whoops. Please tell me the message is in my hand. <clears throat> nope. Hey, thanks, Justin. Enjoy the GIF. What is it? Wait. These look like uh, R6 keys. They are. They're blanks. So I'd have to have the mill to match my R6 keys, even though I have both my original keys. <clears throat> now, the thing here which you probably don't know if you don't ride motorcycles. But then again, even if you rode motorcycles, you probably wouldn't know this shit. Most people prefer the European design for the R6 key over the American design. And that's what this is, it's the European version. <laughs> An email from a guy about this. I can't remember his name. So please forgive me, dude. I did get your email and I have received your Dr. Squatch. I used the soap. I just ran out of it recently, and I'm currently using homemade soap from the last mailbox that I was sent by, oh, I can't remember her name. She's a sweet woman, she sent me a whole bunch. And technically, <laughs> I'll probably keep using hers. It doesn't have the same level of smells like Dr. Squatch, but still. Ooh, look what you did, Fluffy. You're so careless, Fluffy. Uh-oh, look what you did again, Fluffster. What's this? Huh? Uh, Ushiro Tora? I probably said that wrong. Uh, who sent this to me? I've never heard of this anime. Please don't feed the demons. <clears throat> Amazon Marketplace. There's no, uh, there's no message. I don't know who sent it. Hmm. Complete two series. Look, this is the whole series. Well, of course it is. DVD sold 25 gigabytes of, uh, there's five discs in here? Jesus. Please don't feed the demons. He always ignored his father's crazy tales about the temple where they lived. Well, it'll be worth a watch at some point. I still got my PlayStation 3. I can pop it in bed when I'm alone. Just me and my small dog. Don't worry, Fluffy. I'm sure I'll be able to get dates at some point. Here we go. I don't know shit about motorcycles and... I tried to order you a stand for your R6, but it couldn't go to your P.O. box. Hopefully you can use the clutch, unlock key, and reservoir cover. Please enjoy the channel. Oh, really enjoy the channel, my dude from Justice. 
Uh, hey, Jesse, I've actually got a lot of stuff on my bike. I've got stands for my bike. Uh, it's completely decked out. Like, my R6 is literally a race bike with lights on it. <laughs> you know, like, for real. I have flashed the ECU. I've changed the exhaust system completely, got rid of the original one. Um, I still need to change my chain. I have fan turbo brake lines made in Italy. I believe they are, they could be the carbon fiber ones. I can't remember. It's been so long because I didn't install them. Uh, I have an armor bodies, race body for it, uh, custom lighting. Now I look back at the custom lighting. I don't need it. I should probably take it out of the bike because it's too much of a hassle. I put the Knight Rider <laughs> lighting system to go through it so it looks like it's Knight Rider literally. But let's see, uh, my clutch, my clutch and my brake levers are CRG. Uh, I have a whole bunch of Woodcraft parts on my bike. I've got Vortex parts, like believe me, she's decked out. Oh shit, this is actually a clutch lever. Oh wow, this is a uh, Chinese made. I can tell because the Chinese manufacturers use the same exact design as a CRG or an AVS lever, but the difference is the price is far, far cheaper. And I hear, you can get the adjust, this is the uh, brake side actually, you can adjust how far up it is. That's the key selling point of this. And it's also a long lever, look at that. I use shorties. You see with shorties, well technically it's not that long, this, it's not as short as mine though. Or am I using AVS? I can't remember, I have some expensive ass levers on my bike. I use two finger techniques when I ride. Most people, you know, you see new guys, they ham fist thing like that. I'm a two finger guy. I've seen some dudes do one, some MotoGP racers, but I stick to two. Uh, it's easiest and with the longer bar, if you were to crash your bike, this part would get caught and grind on the ground and they could rip off, you know, your, uh, what the hell are those things called? I can't remember. How could I forget the name of those parts? your handlebars, but there's a better name for it, I think. My handlebars are also made by Vortex V3s, I believe. My, my, my motorcycle is really decked out, dude. Like, before I got on YouTube and before I started painting Gunpla, I dropped a huge chunk of change in my motorcycle to make it a track bike. And now she's basically um, a big paperweight. I have uh, Dunlop Q3s, but not the Q3 Pluses. Those came out right after I bought my Q3s. Uh, when I get my bike running again, maybe I might try the Q3 Pluses. Oops, let's zoom out. Check it out, Fluff, what you got for me? Good work, Fluffy. Get it, girl. Get it for Daddy. Good work, Fluffy. Oh, this is for Fluffy. Uh-oh. Oh, no, this isn't good. There's no message. Wait, yes, there is. Ow, oh, my balls. Merry Christmas, Fluffy, from o Okami Jaguar. Hold on, Fluff. Hold on. This is from Go Dog. I'm sorry to say this, but Go Dog makes crap products. Not knocking you for sending the gift, dude. Thank you very much. Fluffy will kill this squirrel in minutes. See, let me cut off all these tags because she'll totally eat them. She's going to kill that thing. It has no shot in hell. She'll rip it to bits. But for now, she loves it. So thank you very much, dude. Just for future reference, though, for most people, like those products, even though... Go Dog says it's got Chew Guard technology. Their stuff falls apart so easily. It's crazy. I should send them an email with like pictures of every Go Dog toy Fluffy has gotten being finished within minutes of having it. It's weird talking about motorcycles. Now all I want to do is talk about bikes. What's this? Tape measure, huh? I could actually use one. There's a height joke in here, dude. <laughs> Gee, since you didn't give me the dimensions of the front of your tower, figure you didn't have tape. Like, which tower are you talking about, bro? Of course I have a tape measure, dude. <laughs> I mess with cars and shit. 
Why would I not have a tape measure, even though you don't really need a tape measure for your car? But let's say you're trying to install or bring something in the house and you're not sure the dimensions of your doors. Uh, since you couldn't give me dimensions in your front of your tower, I didn't know if he was talking about my computer tower or this glass tower. Uh, where your mouse pad is. Oh, well, let's see. Figure you didn't have tape measure where your mouse pad is from tower feet to front of glass. Left, right, think. Okay. All right, beautiful swoop. Uh, I'm going to find your message because I saw it in two places on some videos. And I'll just give you a link to this. I'm pretty sure the dimensions on Amazon is where I got this glass table from. Is that what you're talking about? Uh, quite sure, honest to God. Do you mean the, this thing that all my painting is in, or do you mean my computer desk? Whoops, and boy, oh boy, we just went all backwards here. And it's from Wise Crow. So it's got to be an alienist. An alienist. So it's got to be an alias. Fluffy, I know you're not going to try and fit through that tiny hole. Believe it or not, this has to be one of the most beautifully wrapped gifts I've ever seen in my life. Hell, I've ever received in my life. Sorry for the excess packing, lol. I just wanted to make it special. Oh, this has to be from a woman. And it also says F-U on it, so that's got to be a woman. Look at this. It's... See, look at this. This is... This is nice. It's so nice you don't want to break the seal, honestly. Let's see if I could read it without breaking it. I'm that type of anal retentive asshole. There's gotta be a way around this, dude. Lovely. Oh, wow. Please, God, let it be a hot chick. You know what, this could be a guy trolling me. I know it. Dear Tsugunum, I felt like you <laughs> deserved a little something made with love and a woman's touch. Hope you enjoy the portrait of Billy. It's a one-of-a-kind, thought-provoking masterpiece. Jokes aside, I never thought I'd be inspired to paint a fucking puppet, let alone a cum stain like Billy. Tell that little bastard the best part of him ran down his mother's leg. That's a classic line you hear in New York. May it be a reminder that you and Billy are worth more than YouTube deserves. Fluffy and Smokey too. The Star Wars books are from my husband. Oh, damn it. What the fuck is going on? Answer me. I am really upset. What the fuck is going on? Awkward moments of your life. It always ends the same, doesn't it, guys? <laughs> he says, Yo, dog, heard you like Star Wars. <laughs> oh, this is full of memes. Maybe watch some Star Wars. Uh, I can't read that word right. Original, maybe? Slowly Burn will be therapeutic, seriously, from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you for taking time out of your life to bring us laughter and motivation. With love, wise crawl. Uh, P.S. Give Fluffy and Smokey a kiss for me. Do whatever you wish with the artwork. Sign it, uh, scan it, and sell autograph Billy portraits if you like. Not that I'm saying it's good enough for something like that. You could also throw it out. I'd never know, lol. What I'm trying to say is it's 100% yours. Don't read out loud unless you want to. But if you want to check out my art, search Wise Crow Gallery on EST. So check out Wise Crow Gallery as I'm about to sneeze. You know what's genuinely amazing? No woman I've ever dated gave me a gift like this that looked like this on Christmas. I, if only YouTube wasn't so gay with its copyrights, I'd play Wham's Last Christmas. Oh. oh fuck it, let's just rip it open. Christ, you really gotta get yourself in. She wasn't joking about the packaging. Okay. I think this comes from a homeless smoker. Oh, good lord. Uh, origami? Star Wars origami. Oh, that's what it said. Ah, let's get it. 
Um, I think it's actually that. It's actually Star Wars Origami. Who has time for Origami? If I don't put out a video in a timely fashion, people start emailing me. Where's the video, Gundam? And then I have to go, I'm sorry, there, Toby. I was doing Star Wars Origami. What is it, Fluffy? Is that Fluffy as Jesus? May the thirst be with you, baby. Oh, it's Billy as a Jedi. Didn't see that coming. Look at that shit. This is fantastic. This is genuinely, honestly, fantastic. This is a trophy. This is honestly amazing. You do fantastic. You captured his essence. Even the chin area that I purposefully would pull on the fabric to make it look strange when he made facial. Who knew that doing YouTube videos with a puppet that loves e-girls would translate to so much art. This has to go on the wall of victory. That's where you can hang it. Oh, sorry. Oh, fuck me. I need a camera person. This is where you can hang it, right? But then if I hang it that way, it's upside down. And then if I hang it on the side, the billy's like that. So I'm going to have to take this apart and put it back in just so I can put him up. This is art. It comes with a patch saying, I'm not insulting you, I'm describing you. Well, that's cool. BOD luxury gifts. Uh oh. Probably more <coughs> anal beads. Oh, it's a bag of dicks. God damn it. It's official. You have been invited to flip card. Eat a bag of dicks. Why didn't I see that coming? How on God's green earth did I not see that coming? Oh, Jesus. This is an 18 plus gift that keeps giving, laughing my ass off. Oh my God, it has a penis. That's a penis. Jesus Christ, get that out of here. <laughs> I forgot I was in a Racer X chair. Your mom sends me care packages. Hmm. What's this one say? Moist towelettes. Cleans and freshens, leaving your vagina soft and free of sand. Oh, it actually has moist towelettes. Love you, Gundam. Dead fawn. Dead found the mouse pad. Okay. And we thought it was hilarious. Well, that mouse pad's going to Ziltex. If found dead, delete my browser history. Okay, this one I don't need because I'm smart enough to hide my browser history. And I keep my pornography hidden like Batman. You won't find any porn on my PC. What does this one say? Bad decisions make good stories. This is actually very true. This is a piece of wisdom. What the fuck is this? Oh, I thought it was toilet paper for a minute there. I love to wrap both my hands around it and swallow. God damn it. Oh, that's cute. Okay, I know who this is from. When I saw the name Jay, I immediately assumed it was a guy. This is actually from Lady J. Now, I recall her saying she was making me something, and she seriously did. She went through this much. Wait, is that my Billy? No, this Billy. I think that's the Billy that, uh. Shit. What was his name? He's a DSP detractor. Shit. Can't remember his name right now, but I think that's a picture of the Billy puppet he got. 
That's Chuchi the day I was... Fluffy, you put your nose all over this. That's a picture of Chuchi the day I was working on a table for a review for this Chinese company. It was a good computer table, actually. Should have got myself a second one to give away to a family member. This one is Fluffy and Smokey laying in the animal bed I got on Black Friday for 20 bucks. That is my custom dumpster fire uh, emote for 2019 I created. And this is obviously me, is Bob Ross, because I paint things. This actually has a lot of thought and stuff. Oh, check the, oh damn it, it's upside down. <laughs> this is the second time, dude. That's a monkey. Picking your Christmas present forced me to make a choice. Ah, huh, goes up the nose, it's a. She also sent Billy a super cash gun. Oh yeah. Get that money, honey. Get that money. Get that money. Take that money. Oh! Give her the money, Stu. Stu, did you break this? Come on, Stu, do it. Fire! For those about to thought, we salute you. Fire! <laughs> Take it, baby. Take all that money. Yeah, baby, yeah! So now, while watching Twitch, he can really throw the money at the girls. Milo's Kitchen, woof woof baby, steak recipe. What's this thing? It's another brush. Let's see if this works, because I could actually use this stuff. Oh, dude, is it something for me I can eat? Fuck it, eh? Oh, they come with turkey? I didn't even know turkey existed. Good work, Lady J. I'm so hungry right now for some reason. Get out of here. These are mine. Hmm. Hmm. It tastes like dry bologna. How come the dog's treat is more meaty? Eat it, you little shit snack. Get away from my face. No, this is yours. Just eat one for the camera. The people love when you eat treats. Please eat the treat. Yeah, sorry about that, dude. Your figure got broke. <laughs> Let's see what the letter has to say. I heard you like bootlegs. So here's the little game, which ones are real and which ones are fake. When did I say I like bootlegs? Helsing. I don't know who this is. Dude, I just like Gundam. I'm not a weeb. The Witcher Netflix series has got me depressed. Since they put it out of order, and essentially combine two books into one season. Yeah, I noticed that myself, dude. Also, where's Nemec? I probably got that wrong. Where's Charizard? I probably got that wrong, too. Why doesn't Jackson have his feathered hat? Wait. P.S. I'm not telling you. The answer is be right back. I need to drink away my sorrows and replay the Witcher game. Well, Marie. I can't answer any of this. I have no idea who these figures even are. Uh, if this is supposed to be a game, I think I could tell which ones are the bootlegs, the ones that are broken. <laughs> what is this, a litter box or a laundry basket? If this is a laundry basket, I guess I could use it. Gundam, this should help keep those little monster, the little monster from eating cat shit. Torsky. Yeah, uh, Torsky, I'm probably going to use this as a laundry basket. Because uh, there's no way in hell Smokey's going to use this. Yeah, no. Smokey will not use this. Fluffy's smaller than Smokey. Smokey can't fit this. My cat is obese. Let me pull my shirt up. I think I need some tattoos, dude. I already feel it's a mouse pad. And I also have a feeling it's probably going to be a trolley mouse pad. Wait a minute. Maybe it's not. Oh, that's actually cool. That's actually cool. Fluffy, get out the way. 
I believe this is the RX Zero Unicorn. Look at the size of this mouse pad, dude. I need a bigger desk. I would use this if I had a bigger desk. Get out of here, Fluffy. The gun looks like New Gundam's gun. That is New Gundam. But it cuts off at New Gundam's head. That sucks. That's too bad. New Gundam's my favorite. Oh, this is pretty tight. Ah, uh, I wish I had enough room. I guess I could put it up here and then put it under my computer case. But then I wouldn't have my eating space anymore. Well, I could roll it up. And I hate to spill crap on this. This is very nice. I don't know who sent it because it came from China. Yeah, there's no like message unless it's Xu Zhao Bing who likes me. Then thank you, Zhao Bing. <laughs> Ow, my penis! The world's most energetic dog. Come on, give me a second here. What's this? What the hell is this? Big Mama Undies. Okay. Not sure I get the joke. Don't know what I could do with it. Uh, uh oh, that's a little broken. <laughs> oh, another whiskey glass set. If only I had a lovely lady to drink with. In fact, a couple. Because I've got that many whiskey glass sets, to be honest. These are beautiful. Boy, that's really in there. Gonna want to break it. That's nice. That's nice. Now to do is pull out a cigar, sit around like uh, that comedian, tater salad. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that was definitely damaged in shipping. We'll just pretend like it works. Hmm. I'll send this to Ziltex. the hell is it oh lord how many packages did this have to be in what the hell is it oh fluffy no fluffy loves ass baby i gotta tell you fluffy loves ass look at her go sniff sniff baby oh it's double this is double size the same thing what do you do with this what do you do do you sleep on it it is very soft. Let me rub my face in it. Ah! Mm, it doesn't really hold my screams in very well. So I'm going to have to say this doesn't perform what I needed to do. What's that, Fluff? You like some dirty bird ass, baby? Yes, she does. Looks like... Oh, the Gundam Epion. People love Master Grade Gundam Wing Kits. And I know now that I've gotten this, I will receive many requests to build it. I'm going to guess this is from Alex from Canada. Because I recall him saying he sent me something. Uh, classic wing, honestly. It doesn't look bad at all. This would be worth a build. Just got to find time to get to it. It's, oops, there goes my whiskey pin. A Gundam X. Oh man, this is a classic right here. In a sense, if I haven't seen anything Gundam X in ages. I know they made a Master Grade, but I've never seen it. Hmm. This is old school, dude. This has got to be a real old kit. I wish uh, my painting channel was my main channel so I could just paint all day rather than trying to make nutty feminist articles seem funny when there's nothing funny about that level of madness, you know? But thank God I got this ass pillow to help me get through the nights. And Lord knows the night is lonely, baby. Can I do this? Is this illegal? Is this bad? Oh, yes. Worship the booty. Love the... Oh, this would be great for Billy. Fucking genius. Oh, thanks, dude. We Okay, we got a, we got a purpose for this now. What do we got? Oh, dude, wing zero. Fucking A. 
that's the one Gundam Wing Master Grade I did not get any of the Wing Gundams. Nice grab, Alex. I'm telling you, dude. See, you can't have Epion without Wing Gundam. I wonder what the Master Grade is like. Because I had the High Grade back when those were new. And obviously High Grades pale in comparison to Master Grades. Shit, I'm running out of room here. For those who don't know, Alex from Canada, I think, is rich. If he isn't, he obviously makes way more than I do. I asked him to help me get a job where he works because it's better than being a YouTuber, I can tell. Oh, fuck. P Bandai Tall Geese. This is Tall Geese 2, isn't it? The one Trace Kushinata piloted. Fucking sweet, actually. I, I love the Tall Geese design. To be honest with you, I really like the Tall Geese design. Now what to do is get Tall Geese 1 and 3, and I'm in the money. <sighs> Amazon Fulfillment. Oh my god, you dirty bastard. A Rose Tico figure. You better have left a message, mister. You're not getting away with this. I need a name. Oh, you troll. Since I know Rose is your favorite character and you appreciate her complex arc so much, and since you can't find her action figure literally anywhere, gifted is Miss Tico for the lols from Bu Swoop. Well, that's what it looks like it says. 1337. Well, thank you, Bu Swoop, you soulless wretch. Rose Tico, look, there's like a hand playing with it. Can we? I'm pretty sure you can find the Rose Tico figure anywhere. I mean, I've watched no bullshitter find a whole ton of these. Who even wants a Rose Tico? Like, good God. I don't even think the Star Wars fans that try to convince everyone else that the new trilogy's good have Rose Tico figures. Shameful, sir. He sent it priority mail himself. Get your face away from that dog. Let me make sure this, yep, it's addressed to the right person. Um, what is this? Oh, Ryan left me a message. I want to say thanks for all your videos and sharing your opinions. It really, it's really a bright part of my day. Even when subjects may cause us to contract cancer of the soul, I can agree. Keep up the good fight and don't let yourself get too down. And it's not too easy to be honest with you. These P.O. Boxings are the highlight of my day, especially when someone sends me a letter. Because, uh, you know, you know how it is, right, dude, Ryan? When your real life is just stupid. And no matter what you do, you're never really good enough for the people in your personal life. But then at least I got YouTube. You know, I may not be doing too well with things that matter for, you know, it's so hard to explain. When it's like you gotta jump through all these hoops and it's like, you, you don't get it. I, I've proven myself. People on the internet like me. But the people in your real life are like, fuck off, Mr. YouTube. All right, enough of me complaining. <laughs> A while back you mentioned that you like to get some forklifts for your Gundam diorama. So I 3D printed this one for you. It's on Prime. Let me know if it's a good scale for what you need, and if you want a few more of these, I'll send them your way. I could also send a different style too. Actually, I got a 3D printer now. I should enclose a photo of my recent prints. They went very wrong. I don't know what I did, but it went bad. But thank you for thinking of me. Well, if you want, oh, using an AnyCubic resin printer? Dude, that's nice. AnyCubic resin printer is pretty sick. Let me get a look at this. Ah, oh, the Crossbone Gundam, classic. That was actually my original logo for a long time on YouTube. The chibi version. Well, Stace, the hell is this? What is this? Pumble's Cherry Peach Flavor Gummy? What the hell is this? I don't think this is for dogs. I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at here. Is it a chicken? No, wait, that looks like a penis. God damn it, after you sent me a letter and had me lulled into a false sense of security. 
As far as uh, animes go, I guess you can watch Iron Blood Orphans. That's on Netflix right now. A lot of people like it in America. I find it okay at best. You could also check out Unicorn Gundam. As you can see, that's my painted unicorn sent to me by TC Games, painted by me recently. You can probably find that on Netflix as well. It's pretty good. Uh, it might wet your palate enough to get you into the rest of the UC universe, if that all interests you. Okay, I gotta be careful with the box because these are resin printed figures. There's also this giant resin printer I was taking a look at, but it's like a thousand bucks. And frankly, I don't think I'll ever sit and, well, who the hell knows? I'll look at one one day. Let me see this. The hell is this? That's not, oh, that's, dude. Oh, Sadie would like this. Don't bite it, dude. It's resin, please. Hold on, my dog is in the way of the light source. Okay, you wanna play that way? We can play that way. You pain in the ass thing. For the love of fuck. The autofocus is so ass, it really is. I mean, why Panasonic make such a great camera but have a bad autofocus? All right, this is sick. Look at that detail, dude. Look at that. I saw a guy on YouTube who has like a miniature painting channel painting one of these. Well, I look for a little bit. I could probably do this, maybe. It'd be real tough, to be honest. I think it's a little on the big side. Not 187th scale. Yeah, that'd be a little bit of a toughie to paint. You see there's like no separation in the resin from the tire. So that'd be a lot of masking. Not bad, that's pretty cool. Look how smooth that is. That is crazy. I like that, thank you very much, dude, for thinking of me. At least I can probably find time to paint the miniature Boba and Yoda. It should be a test of my abilities and what I've learned in the past year. Real talk, your dick will rot before that Twitch dot sells you her twat. Save your cash, buy some grass and ass will follow. You can't argue with this, it's so poetic. You can see my face. That was so poetic, uh, it's, it, Master Yoda himself practically wrote this. Thank you everyone that sent anything because as always, it is a pleasure and a privilege to receive gifts from complete strangers that find what little shenanigans I provide on the internet are worth even sending some sort of reward. Though my prayers receive no remuneration, I at least get Gundam figures. And that's the big win. And occasionally, uh, cherry flavored dick thingies. What is this? Well, thank you, James. Not quite sure what I can do with this. Maybe like I'll attach the dildo to it and then make it a dildo saber. That could be funny. Lord knows I'll probably get in trouble for doing it later on. I hope this didn't come from China. I'm worried about catching diseases. What is this? Can't quite see. The nut button? What? Really? Nut. What am I gonna do with this? Nut. 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 The dog is fucking confused. Fluffy, come here. Get out of the get out of the way, dog. Hello, ladies. What is, oh, an RE, this is an RE DJ. Now you might not know what a DJ is, but this is from Zeta Gundam. I believe Armro piloted one at the time. The RE 100 is the Reborn 100 Gunpla line. It's pretty much like a giant high grade, really. For those who don't know, it's in decent shape. The box is taking some hits. All right, I had to shoot that again because the envelope that it was sent in, when I ripped it open, dust flew out and all this like weird stuff. Like, I don't know why the post office would make a package like that. It was terrible. I was choking on it. 
But this is from Fox. He sent me a few items. First off, he sent me some books to help me in 2020. Since YouTube is, I think YouTube understands if you say dirty words in other languages though, Fox. I don't think this is going to help. I mean, it's a novel idea, but I'm pretty sure they're on top of that. He also sent me Go the Fuck to Sleep, but I don't have any kids, so this won't work for me. The Future is Female. Oh, dude. Feminist Adult Coloring Book? Bro, you're a comedian, dude. You are. Gender is a drag. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I can feel the wo- I'm with her. I can taste the wokeness. I feel so woke. Feminine forever. See, now I'm so woke that I was offended by that. Women shouldn't have to wear restrictive bras. This book is a part of the patriarchy. I know you absolutely love the glorious Twitter feminist movement. I thought you would love to receive the Future is Feminine Coloring book. Future is Female coming in book. To inspire you to become a better ally. Finally, not sure if Fluffy keeps up keeps you up all night but I thought it was a great book to read there at night go to fuck to sleep something that you might like also Samuel Jackson's reading of it on YouTube is absolutely hilarious anyway hope you like the art again I don't know a lot about Gumpla so I picked up what seemed to be best thank you for all you do keep up the great work oh dude that's fucking sweet oh shit that's Sharzaku uh, when I get my new house that I probably never get, but I keep telling myself I'm going to get my own beautiful two-story home, probably in Texas or something. I'm going to I'm gonna put these up. I might try and put them up now. Yep, it's the unicorn. Look at that. I can't put these on my wall. Like, uh, I'm telling you, they will rip my wall right down. This place is old, dude. Let's see what we got here. Get. No, this is mine. What's this? Be Go away. Get away. Cannot see. This might have all. No. Chili powder. Hell no. Not doing that. What is this? This looks like, oh, Dios de la Muerte. I probably said that wrong. This looks like the Day of the Dead. That's pretty cool. Don't flip it. Oh, I packed a few little things for you in this box that I thought you that you'd like from my home, state, and culture. I'd send you a pair of revolvers, but that's illegal. God damn it. This stupid country. I wouldn't mind revolvers and a sombrero, my dude. Hey now, whiskey flask. Don't mess with Texas. If only it said, don't mess with me, I'm local. Thank you, sir. This I could probably use. What else have we got here? Ah, is this candy? Get out of the way, dog. Scorpion sucker, wait a second. Oh, it's actually a scorpion in there, dude. Oh, bottle opener. It's an actual scorpion inside of the candy, dude. That's hardcore. I'm not eating this. What am I, Chinese? <laughs> I was gonna send you a giant. I have no balls for this, dude. No way. Whenever I eat anything spicy, like my shit, like it, my my shit turns into fire. And these I don't need. <laughs> Watch your face, dog. Okay, from Chris's letter, this is supposed to be last. But oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Whoops, my chili powder. Dude, this is. The high mobility, okay, that's what he's saying. High mobility pack for high new Gundam, isn't it? This is definitely high new. What's this extra piece? For those who don't know, this is actually a third party 
custom piece that you put on your master grade to sort of take it to the next level. Hey now. Let's take a look here. Let's look at the plastic, see what we're dealing with. Warning, this panel has been sealed. Weird warning. Mm, details not bad. The plastic though is definitely that sort of made in China plastic. It's not the worst I've seen, but it's certainly not the best either. So this would be a lot of prep work to look at all that over there. God, I hope this, I hope this was impacted by someone who had an, an Asian disease. Not to be racist or anything, I'm just saying. Doesn't look, it's very nice looking. Like the, oh, it even comes with the special head, huh? That's pretty cool. Apparently you can fit this on different Gunpla. I uh, see a unicorn. And now there goes the Nanju. Uh, there goes the ashtray frames. Jesus, you can even put it on the uh, seed kit. The Sinanju bazooka, as you can see. It's very loose. The plastic is very, very rough. I was hoping the kit would have smoother plastic. I mean, it's not as bad as... Well, that certainly uh, pretty much emphasizes how when... Really? <laughs> I like put this together and I was going to customize it for another kit, but when the plastic was this bad, I just sort of like left it. I was like, whatever. I should just throw it out. It's absolutely useless to me. But here's hoping that upon further inspection, I'll be able to see if it's salvageable, which it should be. I mean, I just have to put more work into it is all. No big deal. Okay. So this is the normal version, and this is the transparent version if you care to have the see-through. This is obviously for the normal new Gundam, and the other one was for high new Gundam. Don't know if you can really see. This is like Gunpla porn, really. For people into Gundam model kits, they probably go, this is cool, which I agree it is. The yeah, plastic doesn't look too bad. I mean, yeah, this is tolerable. I mean, after looking at whatever the hell I just had my hands on, Oh, it even comes with some sort of base? Really? Let's get a look at this here. Hmm. Oh, this looks like P. Bandai. Oh, shit. Is it Tall Geese 1? What's this? What's this? Look at this. What is this? This is, is it origami? It's origami, dude. I don't know how the fuck you work with the dough. I'm not Japanese. Get out of here. Don't fuck with my origami. The origami is not for you. Dear customer, this is Japanese origami. Looks like flour. In fact, it is koma, a Japanese traditional spinning top. How to spin origami top? Pick up top with your fingers, then twist your wrist quickly. And we would like you to rate our shop. Bluffy, what do you think, darling? No, my origami! <laughs> you are to look at the flower, not eat flower. We could do this all day. If it wasn't for doing the video, dude, me and the dog would sit here just twisting this. Whoops. Ah. Endless Waltz. This might be shameful to say, but I think Tall Geese 3 is my least favorite out of all the Tall Geese's. For some reason, I like Tall Geese 1 the most. Probably because it has a very Spartan vibe. But hey, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Thank you very much. I'm going to guess this is from Alex from Canada. I'm guessing. I could be wrong. Feel free to correct me. This is the original Tall Geese manual, isn't it? Nope. It's definitely Tall Geese 3. Okay, so maybe this is totally revamped, but I would not be surprised if Bandai left original Tall Geese 1 pieces in here. USA Chicken. You wanna try some Nuggies, Fluffy? 
here you go, Fluff. Try a nuggie. Try the nuggie. It smells mustardy. No, no to the nuggie. Yeah, she's not going for it. That's a no from Fluffy. That is an unresulting, unresounding no. Thankful for your channels, especially the Gumplet channel, because I know you do it as a hobby, stress release. And by doing it, I know it turns into a job where you want to stay on top of the hot new kits and you do rush. Yeah, I do rush them. Uh, let's see, I still think your kits are killer. Thank you, dude. I try. If you ever discuss to buy them, I'd be happy to buy you a replacement and take them off your hands. <laughs> oh, maybe I will do that. Unfortunately, the camera died while I was reading and I already opened the box. What we got here is a P Bandai just a cannon. I actually already have one, but maybe I will do a just a cannon resin kit conversion. People have requested it. A lot of people. There's always requests these days on that damn painting channel. And Cody also sent this, the MS07B Golf. Uh, uh, Mosquez, Mafquez, I, I can't remember the guy's name. I do remember he had a very, very over the top golf that had gold engraving on the armor and whatnot. I didn't even know this existed. A style group. I will now open up everything off camera so I don't make the mistake of leaking anyone's address. What's this? What is this? I'm guessing this is like kind of an RE100, which now seeing it, it looks exactly like the Master Grade someone just recently sent me and came out. So I'm 100% sure you will see a Master Grade version of this in no time. I think this is from an HG line of kits that like, uh, I guess Bandai can't, at the time, Bandai couldn't figure out if there'd be enough interest for these kits, but there were some. So they made these sort of offshoot 100 scale kits. They did it for obviously Gundam Seed and Gundam Iron Blood Orphans. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, once painted up, most of these kits look decent. But as far as overall articulation, as you can see, it's very rudimentary. And part separation is probably a pain in the ass. Thank you. I'm going to guess Alex sent this to me. Ugh. Now we've got another big kit that came directly from Alex himself. And Fluffy won't get out of the way. Dude, this shit is so big. There's no way in hell he found this. I'm trying to get this shit open without cutting it to pieces. This cannot be real. Dude, it can't. Throws box. No way, dude. I'm actually speechless. I think this is actually an Elon Cassatria. It's actually, holy shit, Cassatria. How did he find this? How? And he actually found it at a, like a, a reasonable price. I remember he was saying it was like 200 some bucks and I'm like, I wonder what he found. And on the same site I frequent all the time. Somehow he saw this and I've missed it. <coughs> I can't breathe. <coughs> Dude, Alex from Canada is a fucking god. For those who don't know, the Elon Cassatria is like one of those holy grail third party kits. I mean, right now, if you were to try and get an Elon Cassatria off of eBay, it would run you $800. No joke. And Elon is now Mechanicore. 
and I believe they changed their name because frankly they called this a Cassatria and Bandai had a, a shit fit. Now there's a double-edged sword here. One, the double-edged sword is uh, there's a shot there could be missing parts. That was something all the Elon Cassatria, some of the Elon Cassatria owners suffered from. They got the kit, they started to put it together and it was missing key components. I hope that's not the case here. I am completely blown the fuck away. I am. I'm, to I'm totally speechless, dude. This. The Happy Fisherman. Ah, great. There goes monetization. Yeah. Pretty sure there's going to be like a redneck joke. That's the best piece of bass I ever had. A gift from a fellow depressed person. Enjoy, bro. Well, thank you, Abraham. I'm not hanging this up on my wall, though. I'm telling you that. Wait, oh, whoa. This is old school. Is this like a real M&M CD? That's crazy. I haven't seen a CD in so long. Get your nose out of here. It's only $2. Uh, White America, business, cleaning out my closet. This is right at the tail end of Eminem being edgy. Now Eminem does music videos where he's like anti-Trump and he's looking for gun control. And I'm sitting there like, really? The same guy who sang about raping his own mother? The same dude who wrote, bitch, I'ma kill you? If I couldn't make it as a rapper, I'd be a fucking rapist in a Jason mask is exactly the lyrics. Now he's changed. Everybody lost the damn edge. Eminem's fine with gun control going. You know why? Eminem has bodyguards that have guns. You don't. Whoa, crazy. Interesting. I wonder who this character is because I don't think he pilots the strike gun. And this has to be a custom. And why on earth is it pink? What color is this? I didn't. I don't know what color this is. Dear Gundam, wanted to write you this letter to say thank you. Been a fan of your work for a while now, and I always get a laugh out of your videos. Here comes the fluff. Here comes that fluffy. I sing my dog little songs. Didn't know what to send you, so I made a custom-made Gundam shirt for you. Don't know what size, so I sent a large. Uh, I'm more around a medium and a small. I can do medium. That's about as big as I can go, to be honest with you. Hope you like it, and keep up the amazing work as always. P.S. You want to see more stuff made? Okay, here's his information on Twitter. All right, I might send you a design that was custom made for me, and I'll have you print up that with the same font. Because I have no idea who this guy is. But it is cool though, it's definitely custom. I would probably go for a more masculine color. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not feeling the pink. Or magenta. I don't know what color this is. It doesn't, you know, it's not a color that you would associate with a pussy destroyer. And that's who I am. I helped 50 Cent write the song, I Beat the Pussy Up. The hell is this? There's no card. Real dark chocolate. Real delicious. Uh, I don't know who sent it, but thank you. The box looks a little beaten up, though. Like, this looks like, uh, you know, it was like sitting on a shelf for a long time because no one bought it. And they're just like, sell it on Amazon. Unfortunately, I don't eat dark chocolate at all. I find it to be slightly repulsive. <clears throat> but hey, thank you. I mean, maybe one day when I'm real hungry, Oh, I'll save this just in case the, like, the Chinese flu makes it to America. Then I won't be turning my nose up at this. I'd be like, thank God, whoever sent me the dark chocolate has kept me alive for another month. That This is from Alex from Canada. I'm just guessing. <clears throat> Who I now have reason to believe he might be Alex Jones. Where else would he have this money? This is a real old school master grade Gundam. It's the master grade Wing Zero Custom. I've actually never obviously held one in my hands before till now. I know this guy is dated. You know how I know? The real old master grades came with this like sort of cover. Oh, 2004 Bandai. Wow. 
This kid is 16 years old. <clears throat> Whoops. Hi, Gundam. I know how much you like letters written in cursive. Uh, this guy actually has fantastic writing. Look at that. Look at that. How did he do that? If I were to write cursive without any lines, it would look all squiggly. I just, so I decided to write you in it. Thank you very much. Your, oh God can't see that one that very well and it's so tiny like it's nice to look at but it's so fucking tiny I need magnifying glasses for this was this a letter written by ants best wishes well thank you very much I apologize I really can't read it because this cursive is nice but it's so tiny like this model kit is tiny this is an HG Nobel Gundam I think I saw Jobby the Hung review this once Let's see what we're dealing with here. Oh, they give it a base. That's cool. Here's a gunpla I never thought I'd touch in my life. Uh, it's not too complicated. HDs are pretty straightforward. They're just tiny. Like, the one problem I have is tiny model kits. I'm sorry. The, the, they're just so small it's so easy to lose the parts trust me if I'm losing parts to master grades high grades are just a headache the only HG's or 1144 scales I really mess with are the gigantic ones like a Neo Zeong or the GPO3 Dendrodorum or Dendrobium or however the hell you say it I got one I just haven't gotten around to building it yet I'm gonna put LEDs and stuff through it but thank you very much. You're thinking about me and you're being funny. I got to give you that. You have great writing. It's just, uh, it's really weird to look at the Nobel Gundam and how it's like a Japanese schoolgirl. I mean, really. I guess I never paid it that much attention. Would I want to paint this? Is it goof? Maybe. <clears throat> and lastly, because this fell in my car and then I got it out and checked it out. This is from Dead and it's an asshole merit badge. As you can see, Fluffy loves it. Are you an asshole -mo, Fluffy? Get it? asshole -mo, Because you're an animal? There's something about that marriage badge that really just, it really speaks to Fluffy. Well, you can't have it. It's not for you. It's mine. 